Lol, congratulations. Uh, how does it feel to win your very first FIBA World Cup game? Ah, it feels great. It feels great. Uh, means a lot. Um, means a lot, obviously, to to these players. It means a lot to what we've been building. Uh, but you know, most importantly, it means a lot to all the South Sudanese. Um, not just basketball, but to be in a world stage, um, to have our name out there, and to, to all be celebrating together, and giving ourselves something for us to, to enjoy together. What was the strategy strategy this time around? What did you change? Uh, minus the game against Puerto Rico? We didn't change a lot. I think that, you know, we're, we're a team that um, we, we're, we have a deep bench and, and uh, as the game goes on, we like to wear teams out. Uh, against Puerto Rico, it was a learning experience. I thought we played well, uh, but we gave them a lot of second shots. Uh, they kept the game close and obviously uh, made a few mistakes at the end instead of putting the game away. Mm -hmm. But that's something to learn. It's just, uh, it's another level. This is World Cup, so we just went another level up. And sometimes it takes a couple games or maybe even a couple tournaments to get there. Um, and this win is good for us today. Um, so we can just keep moving forward. I noticed in the game against Puerto Rico, there's a lot of transitions, I you know, uh, attacking the basket, going to the paint, and then this time around you reduce that and instead focus on the perimeter shooting. Was that part of the strategy? No, we just took what the team has given us. I think, you know, that's a good analysis by you. I think Puerto Rico didn't do a good job of stopping us getting in the paint. Uh, and teams will adjust and scout the game before and how you play. And I think China did a good job of clogging the, 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 the key and the paint to take away easy baskets, but we were able to get the, the ball to our shooters and we made shots today. Come on came in this time round. Um, was it also part of the strategy or he wasn't ready for the game against Puerto Rico? No, you got to bring him in slowly. Um, uh, you know, he's young, but he's capable. Uh, but at the same time, you have to understand World Cup stage for his game. Um, now he's put himself in a position where he made his introduction. Uh, he earned his minutes. Uh, and now these are going to be minutes that are going to be his to keep and him for, for him to increase it. But that's the game of basketball. You know, you take what you get slowly. And I think we did a good job of, you know, bringing him in at the right time and see how the game is going. The Puerto Rico game was first game. Uh, it was a close game and you needed a lot of experience. Um, this game, we had an opportunity in the first half to bring him in and he did well and he, he played in the second half. Good, good game. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. South Sudanese fans are watching back home. Your message to them. Uh, no, uh, to all all our fans, um, I know this wins mean a lot uh, to you guys. I know it means a lot to everybody. Um, it really means a lot to us, the support that we're getting, uh, all the feedback, we see everything. Um, the most important thing is us coming together and supporting each other. Um, right now it's basketball, but just in general, as a nation, in order to move forward, uh, this feels good. When we all come together, we celebrate each other, and proudly we go around letting everyone know you know who we are we're finally in the world stage um let's keep on rising and getting better uh so we really love you and appreciate you